Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Endangered, a game of survival. So, this game supports uh, 1 to 5 players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is about 60 minutes. This is our first time playing, so we may get a rule wrong or two, but as I always say, we're here to introduce people to games, not to get things perfect. So, if we can spark some interest, great. Here's a quick look at the box insert. It's just a box with some foam in it. That's fine. Um, as far as the other components that we're not using in this game, I'll just quickly sort of show you a couple of them. These are ambassadors, and these ambassadors will uh, be the primary way that we win the game. We've dealt three blue ones, two green, and one purple up here. That's actually gray back. But you're going to choose three at random, two green at random, three blue at random, two green at random, and one of these gray ones at random, and you're going to put them on the top of the board, and we're going to be revealing those, kind of like in Stardew Valley, the board game, and trying to complete those objectives during the last couple of rounds of play, which are down here. So you're going to, you know, shuffle these up and then deal so many out. Each player also gets to choose a character, and each character has a different set of cards unique to them. So you're going to take the appropriate deck, the appropriate token, you get to choose one of two special abilities to start with. Also, whenever you choose that special ability, you get a starter card. So this says donate on the bottom. So um, I took the donate card from out of the deck, and I'm going to be playing this immediately before the beginning of the game as part of setup. This, this other one, this other starter card, would go back in my deck, which I'll just put there. Um, each player starts with a hand of two cards. I am the environmental lawyer. She is the zoologist. Um, these are guide cards for those of you that want to see this. Um, so this is a quick overview of all the different things that are going to happen. Essentially, I'm going to take a complete turn, one through five here, and then she's going to take a complete turn, one through five, and then this year marker will go down the track here. And if we do not, in a two-player game, complete, uh, the, uh, complete this up here, um, by round nine, then we lose. Um, you can only win the game, however, either in round eight or round nine in a two-player game. There's a voting year. This is at the end of every round in eight and nine, there's a voting year. We're going to observe all six of the ambassadors and see if we've met their criteria. We need, on normal mode, four to win, four yes votes to win, and on, I think, easy mode, it's three to win, something like that. But yeah, that's a quick look at the guide cards here. Again, I already mentioned that we each start with their own deck of cards. There are two scenarios in the box. Uh, one is tigers, which is this side. The flip side of this board are sea otters. That's the harder side. There is a set of tokens for sea otters in there. There's also a specific scenario for each. So here's an example of the current tiger scenario that we're doing. It tells you how to set the game up, how many destruction tiles you start with, where to put the tigers, um, whenever there's an offspring, this is what you do. Whenever there's destruction, uh, that's what you do. And we'll explain that as we play the game. So um, I think we'll just give it a go and we'll explain what we're doing as we're doing it. It's just easier that way. We'll be earning money. That's what this is over here. This is influence tokens here. This impact deck is typically bad. Every round it's going to be drawn or every, every player turn is going to be drawn. So nasty things are going to happen. We'll mm -hmm. see. All right, so would you like to go first, or would you like me to go first? I would first, well, like, the last two games, so maybe you should. All right, so that's fine. So before we do that, let's actually play our starter card. Mm -hmm. Again, whenever you pick a starting, uh, a starting ability, you get to pull the corresponding starter card out of the deck. So this said... Uh, this says donate on it, so I picked the donate card out of here, and you get to play it immediately. There's a couple of card types. If it says action on it, you can play it over here, and that becomes one of the actions that players can assign dice to in order to actually do things. This is a worker placement of sorts. Um, if you see the word continuous, like mine says, I'm going to put this in my little tableau area, and I will observe this um, as, I, as I play the game. Um, and I think there is an immediate one where you, you play it once and then you discard it. Mm -hmm. So there's different kind of uh, card types. So your zoologist special ability is when you perform an action that lets you move an animal, you may move it one additional space, which is nice. So you have that ability inherently yes. without using that. This, this action up here says 
move one animal space. Well, it says when you perform an action, that lets you that lets you move an animal. So yeah, so if you use this here, then yeah. you get to use one additional space. So yeah. you can move things around faster. Yeah. If you need to, um, and then your starter card is adopt an animal. Discarded card. It's an action, so we're gonna play it here immediately okay. at the start of the game. Discard a card from your hand, then move up to two animals, up to two spaces each. So it, by discarding a card, we can move animals around. So that's a nice little action there. <laughs> Mine special ability is once per year, uh, actually once per turn, but not during the destruction phase. You may move one destruction tile to an empty space two spaces away. <laughs> so these destruction tiles will pop up every turn and... This lets me move them around to try and avoid the tigers if we can. Mm. Um, manipulating the board and keeping the tigers safe is what we're trying to do. And it'll make more sense as you see it being played. Again, this is our first time too, so hopefully it makes sense to us <laughs> as we're doing it. Um, my donate card here is just after any player rolls any dice, uh, you may pay two million to add one or subtract one from that die. So if, if we need to adjust dice rolls for some reason, my donate card is continuous and will allow us to do that. It's not an action. It's just something that we can do. That's cool. So maybe I'm I should... I'm assuming it's one per turn, though. Yeah, it, yeah, it says... Well, it says after any player rolls any die, you may pay $2 million. So it looks like you can do it multiple times, mm. assuming you've got the money to do it. Okay. So that's not bad. We each start with a hand of two cards. Um, so the first thing we do is the action phase. Reclaim and roll your dice. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick roll here. One, four, and five. And I'm going to be placing them worker placement style over there. Um, now, a quick note about dice placement. In a two-player game, if you cannot have the same die on the same space. So I cannot have two of my color on the same space. However, she can go here so as long as it's two higher than whatever that value is. In a two-player game. In a three or more player game, it's only a value of one or higher. But in a two-player game, she would need a three or better mm -hmm. to in order to put something on this space where I've put the one. So one, four, five. Let's see what we would do. This social media campaign, however, has no limits. You can go there as much as you want. She can go there as much as she wants regardless well, of value. It's only one action, isn't it? Like yeah. it's only one spot. But you can do that. As, no, it's an unlimited. It's unlimited. There's no limits. The whole You can put multiple dice there. Oh, really? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to try and get animals on top of each other for the offspring phase. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, so, and this is pay one million. I don't have any money. Play one card from my hand might be a good one. Do you have any cards that you want to play from your hand that are good? Because I don't want to put my four down. You'd have to roll a six in order to do that. The only one I have is add one animal to an empty space adjacent to a ma matching mating pair. Do you, do you, is that an action card? That's or? an action no, this, card. No, these cards, by the way, are public knowledge. Oh, okay. So we can just put them face up, that's fine. So our hands are, this, again, this is a cooperative game. So you have, this is an action, add one animal to an empty space. So that's not bad. That's something that you may want to play. Um, adding more tigers to the, the field is great. Mm -hmm. um, and this was pay one million, then draw one card and play one card. So pay money to, to get more cards. So I have a, I have a conundrum here. I want to move this animal here so that we can form a mating pair. But I'm thinking with your with your ability, you can utilize this space with any number. I'll I'll I'll, I'll not touch that number or that well, space. If I put a four here, if I put a one here, all you would need is a three or higher. Yeah. However, I want us to be able to play cards too yeah. to get ourselves going. So um, I I feel like I should play the one on the uh, mm -hmm. play one card from your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to play the... I like that game money. <laughs> yeah, this is pay much? one million, then discard one active persistent impact. I don't have any money right now, but yeah, I'm going to put this go to work down. This says gain two million. So I'm going to play this action card here. Now, when anyone goes here, you can gain two million dollars. That's really good. So that was one of my dice. Now I'm going to... I hate to do this, but my lowest number out of the two is mm -hmm. a four. I do want $2 million, yep. so I'm going to come here and take $2 million from the bank. That leaves my five, which is kind of limiting in a different way. Discard a card from your hand, then move up to two animals, up to two spaces each. Or 
This one is pay one million as an action and discard one. A- I want to put this out, mm-hmm. so I do not. I would want say to- move. Just move the animal. Yeah, but the problem is, if I bring my five here, there's no way for you to utilize that space. I completely block you. That's okay. I have. I could play a card. And put a new one out and use this. I, w- I would most likely use two of my dice to try and go here. Okay. Unless, uh, pay one million, then remove one destruction yes. tile, which is not even there. I can go social media and just draw another card, and that frees you up. Because if you go here, you could move the tigers twice. So you can create a mating pair here and a mating pair here I... with your ability, right? Because when you move one tiger, you can move another tiger. Right? Mm. With your ability? It says you may move it one additional space. Oh, so it's just, so it's not an additional move, tiger. It's, it's basically move one animal two spaces. Oh, okay. All right. So maybe I don't feel so bad then. Yeah. All right. So I, then I, I will put my five here. Yeah. I'll go ahead and combine these mm-hmm. together. Like, actually, yeah, I guess that's fine. Mm-hmm. Now, I've used all three of my dice. So now we are in the offspring phase. We're going to count the number of mating pairs that are out here. And add one to it. So there's a mating pair here, a mating pair here, and a mating pair here, plus one is four. If I get a four or lower on this die, three, then offspring happens. That means I can take one tiger from the supply and put it one space adjacent to any mating pair. So I'm going to maybe just put that over here to try and get these guys together if I can. Mm -hmm. And then per the offspring rules here in this special scenario, Um, Tigers are territorial. After a mating pair produces an offspring, one of the tigers in the mating pair must move to an adjacent empty space Mm -hmm. containing no deforestation or other tigers. If there is no such space, the moving tiger is lost. Mm -hmm. So um, that means I have to move one of these tigers somewhere. So maybe I'll do that Mm -hmm. and try and complete more more pairs later down the line from Mm -hmm. there. Uh, So that was the offspring. Now destruction. So the destruction... For this particular, it says, choose a row or a column that contains at least one tiger. So I'm going to go ahead and choose row six, because there's only one tiger in that row. So we have to choose one row or one column okay. with one tiger. If we were to choose, it would be bad to choose column five, because there's yes, a, a, a one in two chance that we would lose a tiger. Yeah. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to choose row six, and now I'm going to roll a die. And whatever number this is... Six. Okay. So a destruction tile appears on the six space over here. Now I have that ability once per turn, but not during the destruction phase. You may move one destruction tile to an empty space two away. So if I really wanted to, I could move it up here, I could move it back here, but I, I think leaving it in the corner mm-hmm. is fine with me. That's fine. Um, so I, that's something I could do as a lawyer. So now we move on to the impact phase. Play the top card of this, and this is a tiger sighting. Um, These are typically bad things that happen. This says, um, this triggers a variety of persistent impacts. If zero persistent impacts are currently in play, draw and resolve the next impact. So that's useless. Let's draw the next one. Persistent impact. When a tiger sighting card enters play, uh, roll for one more deforestation. Meaning the destruction tile. Why did you discard the first one? Because there's no persistent ones in play. Oh, oh. It told oh. me to draw a new one if there are zero oh, in play. Oh, oh, I see. Now that there's one in play, the next time a tiger sighting card oh. comes up, we're going to have to observe yeah. that negative effect. Okay, so I'm sorry, what was that one again? That is when a tiger sighting card, aka this card, oh. there's more in here. Oh, when they okay. come up, we have to roll another one of these. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now. Upkeep. Draw one card. All right. This is so I get this here. Uh, emissions regulations. I'll go over that later. Um, mm. Draw one card. Pick a player. Okay. So you're the last one to go for your one. So now you're going to take this entire turn. Okay. Action. So now you're going to take your dice and roll them. Okay. Five, four, six. Those are some high numbers. Yeah. Not too bad. Keep in mind, wherever you go, I'm more than likely I won't be able to go next turn. Now, here's a question, though. You can put your six there. Oh, oh well, I can't because it has to be three plus two. 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 Oh, oh, oh. You can put your six on that card to get two million. Do you reclaim your dice at the beginning of at, your next At the turn? beginning of my next turn, I reclaim my dice. So if I put a six here and this first slot 
is, is available after you reclaim your dice. Does that mean there's no slots? There's no slotting. It's oh, okay. just, this is just your like... six will be there when I reclaim my dice. So when I roll them, your six is going to be there, meaning I can't uh, do anything about it. So these slots aren't necessarily orders. No, just it's just it holds orders. a max. You can have each card can hold a maximum of three dice. I see. is all that is. Oh, fudge. <laughs> there's no like ascending order value or anything like that. It's just okay. But go ahead. I've got two million already. So if you want to take the money, I kind of do. Yeah, go for it. So I would say I, I have a chain that I kind of want to do. Oh, go for it. All right, yeah, design. go for it. So I'm gonna play the six here and get two million monies. Okay. So one, two. And then I really want to play a card, and I'll play my four if that's okay. That's <laughs> fine. And I'm going to pay. I'm going to go here, and it's an action, and it says pay one million, then draw a card and play one card. Now, I'm going to use my five to do that. Okay. And pay one million. So that means you have to okay. draw a card. Uh huh. And I get to play any card for free. Yes. Um. So you've got mating habits and collect specimens. Mm -hmm. This lets you actually discard a tiger, and then choose one active persistent impact. And either discard it or put it back on top of so why would you want to put it back on top why i maybe i don't know <laughs> i don't know the strategies behind this yet okay. uh, this is add one animal to an empty space adjacent to a mating pair so you could <sighs> a, a, either one of these is something you can play i kind of like this one all right go for it the more tigers we can put out the better I yeah think. so i think i will just do that one also worth mentioning, folks, that I can use her cards and yeah. she can use mine. So Example that I use right. her mm -hmm. card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that's all I can do for my action. Okay, so that was all your dice? Yes. Already? Okay. Um, all right, so now the next is the offspring phase. You didn't really move anything around, so you're going to need a three or lower. There's one, two, okay. and then a base of one as well. So there's okay. three. So you have a you have a fifty fifty chance of producing offspring. So the orange is the offspring dice. It doesn't matter. I, oh. I, I would assume so. It matches the tiger four. Okay, so no offspring. Oh. No, no new tigers up here. Okay. Next, we move on to destruction. So now you're going to choose a row or column, and decide where you want to try and spawn a destruction tile. You can, I'll choose the six column. Can no, you have to have at least one tiger. Oh, one tiger. Okay, then the six row. All right. So go ahead and roll this. That's fine. So go ahead and roll that, and we'll figure out where it is. On a five, this tiger gets destroyed. On a six, it gets destroyed. Four, three, two, one is what you want. Okay. No, but I... Okay, never mind. Well, no, one is good. That, that was good. One. But what were you I, I had an idea, but it had to be on my turn. Never mind. Oh, okay. I was about to say I have an ability, but it's on my turn. The ability to move this. I was thinking I could move this before your roll, but it says on my turn. Okay. So you roll a one, so a destruction pile goes here. Mm hmm Which is fine. Um... So what I may want to do, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next is the impact phase. So we're going to play the top card from this, and this is a persistent impact. Um, when a tiger sighting card enters play, lose one animal adjacent to a deforestation tile. So if a tiger sighting card pops up, we lose this. Okay. Assuming we don't get rid of it before that happens. That's, um, that's kind of like this one, honestly. Lose one animal, then choose a person. We might as well. Like This animal's already in dire straits. We could sacrifice it to get rid of some of these, the I guess. Yeah. yeah, unless we get to move it up a little bit. Are they both persistent? Yeah, they're both Ooh. persistent. There's two persistent impacts out here. One is going to spawn an additional deforestation. Mm -hmm. One is going to now remove an animal next to one of these tiles. Yeah, nasty. Okay. So now that you've done that, upkeep, you get to draw a card. From your deck. And now we move on to year two. Ooh. We need uh, ways to add influence to these cards up here. So we need to keep playing cards and, and finding those cards. Yeah. I don't think we've come across anything that adds influence yet. Not at all. That die needs to go back. That doesn't matter. All right. So now I, on my turn, uh, unless you want to go first. We get to choose who wants to go first. We can take alternating turns. I can go, do you want to go first? Well, actually, no, in a two-player game, I think it has to go back, forth, back, Does forth. Does it? Okay. Because it makes more sense, I think. According to the rule book, I'm just going to pull this out real quick. Um, actions, offspring, upkeep, year end. There was a section in here about... It says, in a two-player game, 
The two players simply alternate turns. Okay. So it seems like I go, you go, I go, yeah. you go, I go. In, in a more than two player game. You can you get to choose who oh, goes first. Interesting. Yeah. Now these tokens. Right that here? is just to keep track of who's already gone. You put them on top of the calendar to remember, oh, you already took your turn. In a two player game, it's kind of. You, you, yeah. You should know. Okay. But in a four player game, say, you need to keep make, track. Yeah, that would make more sense. That's where these tokens yeah. come in. All right. Go ahead. So I'm going to now retrieve my dice mm -hmm. and roll them. I've got a two, three, and a four. Okay. So with that, um, I, I want to play a card, but I don't have the ability to get past your four there. Sorry. That's fine. Play, pay one million and remove one destruction tile that is not adjacent to an animal. You could pay a million and draw a card and play a card. <laughs> uh, you have a five there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't play that. Um, add one animal. I kind of want to play this and get more animals out. Uh, add one animal to an empty space adjacent to a mating pair. So I, I, maybe something like that. Okay. Or maybe up here. That way... I can maybe roll for deforestation up here when mm -hmm. it comes down time to it. So that's one. Uh, move animal one space. I'm going to go ahead and put my three here mm -hmm. to move this animal. I kind of want to move this animal up away from this so that if this tiger sighting does come up, he won't get eliminated. Then that means that when you do the destruction forest, you would have to pick a column that has at least one tiger. Like I said, that's why I, picked, yeah. that's why I put one and two. Now there's only a one in six chance a tiger would go as opposed to, say, a two and a, a one in... There's, there's better... If I were to rule again in six, there's good odds the tiger would die. Yeah. If I rolled a six uh, or a five, the tiger would die. Okay. So I'm moving it up there just to get... Because that also gets it away from this permanent effect. Okay. With my four, um, it says pay one million then remove one destruction tile that is not adjacent to an animal. So I could... Pay some money to get rid of these destruction tiles, which I may do, because um, I don't like this one down here. Um, what else do I have? Discard a card from your hand. I'm not going to do that. Gain two million. Can't. Can't. So my, my actions are quite limited here. I, I think it has to be this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a four here, pay one million dollars, and remove one of these destruction tiles. So I'll, I'll just get rid of this one for now, mm -hmm. just to try and keep up with it. Uh, one of the game ending things is if you try and put a tile down and there's none left, then you lose. Ooh. So we need to like yeah. keep up with them if we can. Okay. Um, so that, I've assigned all of my dice, and now we're in the offspring. We have one, two, three pairs of offspring here. So I'm going to roll this. We need a uh, four or lower. Again, base of one. Is, so there's a four. So again, it's the number of mating pairs plus one. You're, give me a look. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I was, I was doing my own okay, strategy. Right. So one, two, three, plus one is yes. four. I rolled a four. We get to add one. I'm going to add one over here. Okay. And that's good. Now, destruction. So now I'm going to pick row two because there's only one tiger here. And I'm going to roll for that and see what we get. It's a two. Mm -hmm. So the destruction tile goes here. Mm -hmm. On my next turn, maybe I'll see about moving it maybe down here using my ability. Um, it says on any <coughs> phase other than my... Um, any phase other than my destruction phase is, is what it says. But not during your destruction phase. You may move one destruction tile to an empty space. So what I could do... During the impact phase? Yeah, during I'm now in the impact phase. So now I'm going to use this. I'm going to move this down too. Because if this tiger sighting kicks in, yeah. one they go away, right? I've, yeah. I have to wonder if like that's something you have to do At the after. End, I don't like, know. <laughs> but it says... It says... Not during your destruction phase. It didn't say anything about it at the beginning of my turn or the beginning of it. just said not during. Yeah. I'm on impact right now. Poachers. Uh, losing number of animals equal to the current year number, uh, but no more than three. So we have to remove two animals from the board because we're on year two. Okay. So what two animals do you want to get rid of? Maybe this one, this one, and... Well, I'd, I'd rather keep these together. Maybe this one and... Hmm. Yeah, I would say probably... I want to keep the mating pairs a possible Well, I, I can move animals up to two spaces. All right, so I'll just do this and this. So, okay. Okay. And I'm trying to limit how many tigers are on each row and column. Yeah, okay. And now we are in the... Upkeep. Upkeep. Draw one card. 
pick a player and okay so you're next oh here we go um i can play this add one influence to one ambassador so i can put this action down on my next turn yeah so try not to put a high number I'll try to on that so that i can actually play a card and the persistent did i have we have two persistent cards right we do and that didn't chain off of that one that you got no so I this is an to... instant impact. It had no bearing on okay. So I have to take these back, right? Uh-huh. And roll them? Yes. Okay. Uh, can I re-roll? Well, no, fine. One, three, three six. Three and a six. All right. I, I, we need a dice tray. <laughs> you hear that, folks? Donate a dice tray. <laughs> Patreon, subscribe, donate, all that good stuff. There okay. we go. Done. What if... All right, so that is, I might, I might actually put a six on the move animal so we can get a mating pair. That's fine. I'm not really gonna be doing much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. You're gonna put the six there. And mm. I'm, I, I'm gonna do one. Oh, wait, sorry. Dang. If you need me to reach it, I'll do it because. One, two. The microphone is like. Yeah, sorry. It's my, I sh my T Rex arms are just so short. Just again, ask for help. <laughs> Oh, you removed this one up here, didn't you? I did. Okay. Okay. Well, clearly. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I guess... You don't have to use your special ability. You just move it over one space. I know. What I wanted to do was mate with this one so that one tiger can be in that row. I see what you're saying. But... You can always just move it up to... Sp well, just how about these two? If you just leave this alone, this is just one tiger in one yeah, row already. I know. But that... I feel like if the more... Destru destruction tiles I'll do my best. tigers have. Uh -huh. Alright, it's fine. I'll do my best to get rid of destruction tiles as the lawyer. That's fine. And move them around to get out of the way. Because, oh, oh, that's right. If you do a destruction tile and you roll for a destruction tile and it lands on that. It moves it, to it the moves, next of it. Oh, ne it I moves see. to a space closest yeah. to the next tiger on that rower column that you I picked. See. Okay, alright. Alright, so I moved that to form a mating pair. My three and my one. What if I put a one here? That's fine. Yeah, as long as I get a three or higher yeah. on my next dice, I'll be fine. I think that would be fine. Having more cards in play is good. Unless... Okay, let me play a card. Okay. I'm going to play this one. And what does that do? Discard both this volunteer card and one active persistent card. Ah, so you can go there for one action. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so with get your rid three. Of my persi okay, okay, so you discard that, and which one do you want to get rid of? This is... When a tiger sighting card enters play, one animal, uh, lose one animal adjacent to a deforestation tile, which there are none right now. Mm -hmm. This one is when a tiger sighting card en enters play, roll for one more of these. I'd say we get rid of this. I think so. Because yeah. I can manipulate these with my lawyer, mm -hmm. so I can try and make it so that there are no tigers near these. Yeah. So I'd say that's a good, that's a smart play. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that one persistent effect with that. What's cool is that... Um... Now I don't have to contend yeah. with your dice there. So, so that was all your actions. Mm -hmm. Mating pairs, there's one, two, three, four. So you just need a five or lower to to mate. And this just goes in my discard pile, right? Just like off to a discard. Yeah, just your, your dex discard pile, wherever it is. That's fine. Okay. Just, yeah. Don't confuse it with your persistent effects and other yeah. things. If you have to, you a can... five. Five. Okay, so that's actually good. One, two, three, four. Base of one is five. So you get to spawn one of these and then move a tiger... So where do you want to spawn this? I can spawn it on an empty tiger. It has to be on an empty tiger. Empty tile. <laughs> spawn spawn this on an empty space and move a tiger from that pair to an uh, to an empty space. Okay. Um. So I guess I'll put here and then and then this. Okay. If you want to do that, that's fine. Sure. I don't know how else to do it. All right. Um, next, we've got the destruction phase. So you're going to pick a row or column. You can pick column four. You can pick row two. That's the least. Or, or column six, six over here. I think I'm going to All right. So you're going to pick six. column. So here, go ahead and roll this die. And whatever that number is, is where it's going to pop up. One. So it's going here. Okay. So that's not bad. All right, and then all the impact phase. Um, Anti-poaching instant impact. If all players discard a card from their hand, you may reveal a face-down ambassador. 
Ooh. If we want to. Oh, is it's, that only if all players If all it? players. So I'd have to lose something, and you'd have to lose something. I can lose this. I can afford to lose this. Um... I'm gonna this emissions regulation says reveal the top three impacts in the deck, then put one on top, one on the bottom, and one and discard one. The other one says pay one million, then discard an active persistent impact. I like that. I like that too. And this one is add one influence. Like so I'm gonna get rid of the emissions regulations okay. um, so that we can keep these out, and you're gonna lose that. So now we can flip up a face down ambassador. Mm -hmm. So we know that our first goal comes from Mexico, the Mexico ambassador, and this says add up player money between the two of us. Um, the total money that we have, plus any influence tokens that are here, wow. if they add up to 12 or more, then we get a yes vote during rounds eight or nine. Interesting. So we, to get Mexico happy, we need to get a lot of money. Yeah, or a lot of influence. If we can assign yeah. a lot of influence yeah. to them, that's fine. We don't fine. need that much money. Right. But. All right. Uh, that was the impact, right? So that and then it goes away. And I now draw. you draw, draw for upkeep. Yep. All right, and now we are on year three because we took two turns there. Mm -hmm. So now we are in the actions phase again. That means I get to take back my dice. Quick, quick question. Mm -hmm. This is a continuous card. Does it's, that mean that it, a, ta it takes effect immediately, or do I still have to play it because it's technically have, you, in my hand? No, you, you have to play it into your tableau like I have mine here. Okay. My donate card is in here. Okay. From the beginning of the game, I yeah. played it. You have to play this card to your tableau. Once you have it in your tableau, you can use it. Okay, but you didn't play yours because you had... Because it was my starter card. I see. So I still have to play that one. You, whenever you pick your starter card, and, and whenever you pick your ability in the mm -hmm. beginning of the game, you get a starter card. That starter card is played immediately. Yeah, okay. That's why this is out here. Okay. You, on the other hand, picked it from your yes, deck. So you so have, to, have play to play it. it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, that said... Um, let's look at the, okay, so what was I doing? It's now your turn. I have to roll dice. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> four, four, five. I guess it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to play a card for sure. I'm going to put a four there. Um, pay one million and discard. You no, know, I kind of want to get influence. Out. We need to start figuring out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this signed petition card out here. Okay. When we put a die there, we can add one influence to an ambassador. Um, I've got a four and a five left. I want to play this other one so I can also get rid of these, but... Um, you could pay one million to draw and play a, play the card. Yeah, I guess I could do that, but then I won't have the money to add. You could use your other die to gain two million. Yeah, I could. All right. Well, or uh, yeah, that would leave the ambassador influence thing. I want to keep the I want to keep the influence going so that we can add more to the cards up here to better our chances because we're already in round three. We only have five rounds left before we start voting. Yeah. So I want to get as much. I, I want to put low numbers on there if I can. Um, that said, uh, I've got a four and a five to mess around with. I I don't want to lose any money because I want to use this card. I want to play a card. All right, fine. I'll get money. Two million. As the lawyer, that's what I do. The five. Um, I'm going to do this here to draw a card and play a card. Uh, spend the money to draw a card and play a card. Mm -hmm. And that's canvassing. Pay three million, then add three influence to one ambassador. Oh my gosh. Um, I am going to put the lawsuit out here, though, for control purposes. Mm -hmm. This is pay a money to discard an active mm -hmm. effect, okay. a persistent effect. I think that's more important. We have this that we can assign to temporarily, but I do want to get this out here as well. Mm -hmm. um, also on my turn, I have the ability to... Um, it's not the destruction phase yet. I'm actually going to move this down two spaces okay. just to sort of keep it away from the bulk of our tigers. Mm -hmm. um, that's per the environmental lawyer here. Uh, next, I've assigned all my dice... Um, mating pairs. There's one, two, three, right? And so I get a, there's another one of four. So I need a four or less. One. Okay, so I'm going to spawn one, I guess, up here. And I have to move a tiger this way. This leaves row two still open or column four open. Mm -hmm. Or even six if we want to roll on six. What do you think of that? Is that doable? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's done. And now, destruction. So I pick a row or column, and I guess we'll pick uh, row two. Because my only concern with picking row two is this effect here. 
Um, I kind of want to pick column six because there's there's a higher chance this will, well, actually, if I rule a one, it just goes down to the next space, which is a two. So there's still technically I, a one in yeah, six chance. I think it's I'm going to go with column six, roll the die, and it's a five, which means it goes here. Yuck. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, though. Impact phase. I'm not, I'm no longer in that phase, right? So I can use my ability. Or I used you just it. used I did. it. Damn. Never mind. Uh, in that case, we will just then... Is there a persistent that has to do with that? No. Okay. That's only when tiger sighting... Well, thank you. When this tiger sighting card appears, then we trigger these. I see. It's a special card in the deck that well, triggers. Well, I can't see that. Far, I know you so. can. I've only said it 15 times. I, my, I can't retain it. This so triggers a variety of persistent impacts. If zero persistent impacts are currently in play, draw and resolve the next impact. There is one in play, so we're going to resolve this. When a tiger sighting card enters play, lose one animal adjacent to whatever. I would say lose this one. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so that one's gone. Okay. All right, and now impact is gone. Now we on upkeep draw card, and that's it for for me. So you get to go now. Okay. Take all my dice back. As a one-time thing, each player gains one million dollars. I don't think that's a great card, honestly. Not when we've got that two million one out there. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's a one-time effect card. It has to be discarded. Mm -hmm. This is one of those uh, once, mm -hmm. play once and that's it kind of thing. All right, two, one, and three. That's mm -hmm. not great, considering. But hey, influence-wise, you could put down a one on that influence and add an influence token to a face-down card, and then that gives me good opportunities to add one for the next round. Yeah, I think I might do that, actually. I'm going to do... A one here. I'm going to add influence to an ambassador. Okay, so let's do the second one mm -hmm. to reveal it. Mm -hmm. This is Canada, and that says, and the influence stays there. Okay. Um, count active player cards. Ooh. Player cards in play, um, act actions and continuous. So all of these plus any continuous, oh. plus influence. We've already got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and that, with the influence. Oh, yeah, seven plus my blue card is eight. Mm. So we've got eight toward the 14 already. Okay. So Canada should be easy if we can keep putting down action cards yeah. to chain off of. All right, here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to discard this card. I know it's a continuous, but I don't really care for it. Okay. I'm going to discard this card to move up to two animals up to two spaces each. Okay. I'm going to have some birthing going on. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. So, so just tell me what you want to move, and I'll help you with it. Um, I'm going to move this one here. Now, oh. it says two animals up to two spaces each. So, each. So, so one so animal, one, two, two spaces, one, one two. animal, two. Okay. It says each, yes. So I'll do... Oh, wait a second. That won't leave it free. Okay. I'll do this here. Mm -hmm. I'll move the first one to the second column. And that's it. Okay. Right? Okay. And then... I want money, dang it. <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately, my four trumps your... What is yeah. it? A three? Yeah. You can always go here and gain a million. I could. That's unlimited. Um, unless you want to move up there and move this animal. I was thinking about it. Um, or, you have a three, right? Yeah. Here. I can't, not in oh, the oh, same that's space. Oh, that's your, your color dye, my bad. It's fine. Um, you know what? What happens once the impact deck runs out? Do we shuffle? And yeah, we shuffle and, yeah, we go, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awful. So you can pay a million to discard this? I might actually do that. Okay. So now we have no active effects out here, Phew. which is nice. Persistent effects. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So now offspring, we've got one, two, three, four mating pairs, plus one is five. So you need a five or less and to spawn another one. Okay. Five. five. There you go. So where would you like to put your, your new baby tiger? This one? Keeping in mind you take the existing pair and move one of them as, as well. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, okay. I'll do this then. Again, I could. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check the sound levels after this. Okay, so anyway, 
Uh, you, you're done. You, so you moved. What did you do exactly? I put the one tiger on the 3-2, and then I moved a mating pair that was on 2-1, and I moved one down to 2-2. Uh, two, sure, two. I'll take your word for it. Oh, my God. I didn't see you do it, so all I see are tigers. I'll show you. I'll it's fine. No, no, forget it. <laughs> Leave your T-Rex arms where they are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. That's my two Impact thing. Oh, destruction. We have to roll for destruction. So pick a row or column, which with uh, your current, oh, by you doing this, you now added yeah, another tire. Yeah, two. So, I'll just do row two. Row two. So there's a one in three chance one will get destroyed, but we'll see how that goes. Three. <laughs> so, yeah, we lose. That's okay. We lose that tiger. That's fine. I'll try and get that out of there on my next turn. And then I draw a card? Uh, yeah, for upkeep, yes. Uh, impact first, right? I thought I... Oh, yeah, that's right. That was destruction. Now we're on impact. Uh, save the tiger fund. Instant impact. Any one player may pay three million to discard one active permanent effect. We don't have any money and there's no permanent effect, so that's just fine. Okay. So now you... Yeah, upkeep. Mm -hmm. uh, got an ambassador thing. Oh, so that's another one of those influence things. We're going to need those. Yeah. All right. So that ends your... You get to... You drew a card. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the end of your turn one. You're four. In a five-player game, the game would have been over by now. Are you serious? Yeah, you have three. You have three rounds because there's more players. There's more action economy there. In a two-player game, there's not as much action economy, so you need more rounds to make oh up for it. My this is a uh, five-five, and then four-four, and then three-three, and then two-two. So we're on year four now. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I want like twenty years. <laughs> twenty years. Twenty years to save the rainforest. Yeah. Or at least the tigers. Mm -hmm. All right, so now um, I take my dice back and I roll them. Mm -hmm. Three, three, Ooh. three. That's nasty. I want to put one here definitely to get more influence out mm -hmm. there. I want to reveal this card and see what it is. Uh, USA, count the destruction supply, which is this, plus influence. If there's ten or more, oh. which that's... I'm, I think we're comp I think that's actually a good one. That is good. So USA, I think we've gotten the back. USA. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, three, I can't go there because you're two, but that's fine. I need money. I've got two million, actually. Uh, there's no persistent effects out there. Um, what would I do? I want to maybe play a card. Uh, pay three million, then add three. That's really good because you can gain two million. Yeah. And, and then, can I play a card, though? I guess I could on this three here. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that and play this card, which is put three million here. I don't have the money for it now. I'd have to put my other three on mm -hmm. the three million spot and gain two more million. Mm -hmm. And then on my next turn, just throw mm -hmm. a bunch somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe we'll do that. Is that... That sounds viable because... It, may, it, it potentially makes the 2 million card actually stronger than the add 1 influence. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, it's still not destruction yet, so I'm thinking about just... Uh, you know what? I'm going to move... Should I move this over to the right? I was, I was thinking about it. All right, so I'll do that. I'll move it this way twice with twice, my environmental right. layer. All right, so now we're on offspring. There's 1, 2, 3 right now. Uh, plus 1 is 4. So I need a four or less, and it's a six. So no offspring, unfortunately. Mm. Next is destruction. I will choose row two because it's just the best chance. Uh, we'll see what we get there. It's a two. <laughs> wow, I, I got seen. Yeah, good job. Okay. So there goes. Sorry. I don't feel so bad killing a tiger. Now. One and six. I had a hey. I played the odds and I still lost. Uh, impact phase. Uh, tiger sighting. Uh, this triggers any persistent effects. If there are none, draw another one. Oof. This is any one player may pay three million to discard one active persistent effect. I've got there's the money, but any. there's no persistent effect, so okay. nothing happens. Now, here's the thing, though. There's no ambassador cards right now that have anything to do with tigers, so I feel like tigers is such a moot point at this point. We'll see. Point. <laughs> I don't know what these are. Again, these are random. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but we only need four, right? Yeses? Yes, in a normal game. Yeah. Okay. So now it is your turn. You take your dice. Did you draw? Oh, I have to draw, yeah. Mm -hmm. so impact cool. assessment. When an impact is played, you may discard this card, then ignore and discard that impact and play the next one. Okay, so if I put this down for a one-time thing, I can discard this. I still may want to play it, though, as a permanent card to work toward Canada, yeah. mm -hmm. but we'll see how that goes. So I take my dice back. Yep, you take your dice back. And I roll. Hopefully you get some fives. Um... 
When does a new a new year starts after my turn? After your turn, after. it becomes your five. Yeah. Maybe the markers would have been good. <laughs> I don't, it's not necessary, I think, but okay. <laughs> well, no, I get confused with the calendar. I understand. Five, six, Ooh. three. Those are good. You've beaten two of my dice, so you can easily go to where I've been. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so here's what I'll do. Ooh. You, you wanna, do you want to play a card next turn? Probably not. No. Uh, well, here's a. Th do, well, do you want this out here so that you can get more? Yeah. Okay. So I would. Yeah. Go ahead and play your. Yeah. The more influence cards we get, the more we can split our actions between them. Mm -hmm. I think so. We're not competing for the numbers. So I'm thinking about doing. And that also counts toward the Canada card. Yeah. I think I. I'm gonna have to do influence on this one. Okay. On, okay. So you're gonna put your five above the three. Yeah. And you're gonna put influence here to reveal mm -hmm. a new one. Mm -hmm. All right, this one is Indonesia. Roll two dice. If the dice total plus the influence here is 10 or more, then it's a yes vote. So it's a random dice roll on this. <laughs> so yeah, the more, the more, the, be the better we roll on that card. It's RNG, I guess. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. I'll do, um, so you said you may not play any cards. Probably so not. So, so if you want to, yeah, go for it. And play that one up here. Okay. Um, would have been nice to rack up some money. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that once all the tigers are lost, that's it. Yeah, if a tiger, if we're down to one tiger or zero, then you lose. Nasty. Oh, is there a way to get rid of destruction tiles with what we've got out there? Or no, well, uh, you don't have any. Money. I don't have any money, but I'm gonna add an influence to that ambassador. This one here? Or yeah. Do you want to reveal the purple one or the green one? I think we have a choice in the matter. Do we? Oh, the green one's fine. Okay. It doesn't matter. So this one is Nigeria. Roll two dice. Take the greater die result and then add the influence there. So if you roll a three and a four, you okay. take the four, add the influence. If it's seven or better, then it's, yeah. a, it's a yes vote. Okay. As long as we don't roll a one or a two. Because we already have four influence. Stuff. No. This one influence is for this one card only. Oh! Oh! To put each... This, oh, this influence only counts God. toward that card. I didn't know that. I thought it was It's not a together. shared influence. It's just influence here. It says influence oh. here. How the heck are you supposed... Oh my God. I don't understand how you can like complete the game in <laughs> five players. Again, more action economy and with five players. <laughs> You'd have a yeah. ton of actions in one round as opposed to just two people going. So it makes sense. I don't know. Not to me, because sometimes you can't even put anything Math. because of the dice. All right, go ahead. Okay, oh, offspring. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So you get to roll a die, and if it's a four or lower, you get to add an offspring. Okay. To two. two. Okay, so we get to add one. Try and pick a healthy... The problem with that is we want to pick, we want to get a tiger on its own column or it doesn't go diagonal. What are you doing there? Um, because of this offspring. I was doing it. Oh, so you're doing, you're placing the offspring yeah, I'm right just, now? I'm just, oh, yes, okay. I am. I wasn't sure what you were doing. I'm trying to just figure it out. Um, if we can get one into row one somehow, but I don't think it's going to no, happen. No, you can't. Uh, and how about um, row two? Even though there's two destruction tiles there. I don't know. Or row six. If you put, how about here? That would make it a one in six yeah, chance yeah. because if you rolled a one or a two, it would just bounce to three. So it's still technically a one in six chance of landing on five. Yeah, I know. All right. Yeah. That's, I think that's the best odds here. That is. Okay. Um, so that was offspring. Now destruction. So pick a row. I think six. we decided on six. Mm -hmm. There you go. So let's see what column it is. It's uh, one. So it bounces here, bounces bounce here, bounce. bounces here. Bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. Okay. And then uh, impact. Impact. When a tiger sighting card enters play, remove one influence from one ambassador. It's a persistent effect. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, okay. The next is upkeep. Draw. And, ooh, protest. Remove one influence. Ooh. It's actually not too bad. Remove one influence, then remove two destruction tiles that are adjacent to each other. Wow. So we have to get rid of influence up here, but yeah. it removes destruction. And now the calendar goes down and it's your turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so round five, I will go ahead and recall my dice. 
give them a roll. Six, six, and four. I need, I need to pick actions that you are not going to utilize next turn <laughs> because uh, I want to make sure that you have options. Mm -hmm. um, can't go here. I can go here and add another. I can reveal that last one with the six. Uh, do we want to try and control these if we can? This is pay one million, remove a destruction tile that is not adjacent to an animal. Um, or you can pay three mil to add three ambas uh, three cubes to one. Yeah, but we don't know what this is. That's the, yeah. like, do we really? We. I was thinking for Nigeria. That would give us a better roll. Yeah, we could. We can guarantee Nigeria by adding three to that. It would be four, and then we would need like a, a three. Three. Or a three. The best die would have to be a three. Yeah. Um, I could do that if you want. It's up to you. I'm just shooting stuff. You don't have three million, so I'm gonna put my six here because you're not gonna do that. Yeah. I know you're not. So I'll pay my three million to uh, add three cubes to Nigeria. Okay. That sort of negates the RNG a bit. <clears throat> I kind of want to also re remove that last one. I want to see what's there. Okay. Um, but I also want money. If I put my four, you need money, and if I put my four here, you need a six. I, I think I may just focus on the animals. Or I want to get rid of these. Card. I want to get rid of these tiles so that we can make sure we've got I, USA. I think this control. card would be a good thing then that, to put down. Okay, so I'll make sure not to play a card this turn, um, or if I do, then each of us would gain one million. But okay, so let's do. If I bring a four here. <clears throat> pay a million, which is my last one. I can, It says, remove one destruction tile that is not adjacent to an animal. So I could remove, say, this one down here, or maybe this one. Yeah, I'll move this one. Okay. Actually, it's still a one in six chance. If I move this one, this gives us more options to spread up this way, I think. What do you, what, well, there's no tigers up. What do you think? It's either going to be this one or this one, or one of these, but... Mm. Yeah, probably the one on top. Okay. I'm Ma or maybe the one closest, like, in between those tigers. These? I yeah. can't. No, it has to be not adjacent to an oh, existing tiger. Oh, that's tiger. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, then yeah. Okay. And then discard a card from your hand and move up to two animals. Oh, move. Okay. What about this active effect over here? How do I get... Um... You have to pay a million to discard it. All right. So maybe that was a bad play on my part. Let's put that back. Let's put... I want to get rid of this. Okay. I do not want to remove influence. We need to. That's our end game goal. Yeah. So I'm going to pay a million rather, which I already did, okay. to remove this. Okay. I think that's the better play, honestly. Yeah. And then six. I don't have any more money. I could come here and get money with my six, but that would leave you without money. I don't have any money. You could discard a card to form more um, pairs. I, I could. Maybe that's a, a good idea. Or so yeah. I could put a six here, discard a card, then move up the two animals twice. Mm-hmm. Um, Move up to two spaces each. Two animals up to two spaces. All right, so let's do that. I'll leave this one down here by itself. We'll pick row six next time. That mm -hmm. way it's still a one in six chance. So one, two, three, or four is still here. Can animals move across a destruction tile? I don't believe so. Oh, okay. I don't think so, but I, I'd have to check the rule book. That's fair. But so two animals, two spaces. So maybe we'll move this one up here mm -hmm. and this one over here. Yep, perfect. And that also leaves this column now for rolling if we need to. Mm -hmm. So now we've got, uh, it's out of, I'm out of dice, so now we're on to the offspring. Uh, mating pairs, plus one to your, plus to your target. So one, two, three, four, plus one is five. Mm -hmm. Five or less? Five. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so we will put a new tiger out. Um, how about here? And I can either do that or that. I can move one, I guess I can move one of those up here. Check sure. so. Okay, that works. And now we are on the destruction phase. So I'm going to pick this row down here because there's not a whole lot going on. Still only one six chance, mm -hmm. surprisingly, the way the, the odds play. Two. So it bounces here. Okay. Now. Now there's a one in. Now it's an impact phase. Did you want to use your ability to move destruction tiles that are close? Yeah, we could. To the tigers that way. You I can, I can move this one over here, maybe. That way there's no adjacencies. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? That way when we... I, I'll, I'll pick... Next time you can pick something like this and there's more options. You know yeah. I mean? uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. 
Okay. Did we do the destruction phase? Uh, I just did. Yeah. Remember, we put that here. Oh, yeah. And now impact. So now we're on impact. I moved it. Yeah. Uh, this is fragmentation. When a tiger sighting card enters play, lose one animal adjacent to a deforestation tile. So that's a permanent effect. So when one of those tiger sightings comes up, that will kick in. Okay. So we've eliminated most adjacencies, if not all, except for this one. Yeah. So that's not bad. And now we're on upkeep. So I draw a card. Okay. And I've got protest. Remove oh. one influence, then remove two destruction it's tiles. The same one. Same one that you have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you get to go. You get to take your dice back. Okay. We're getting there. Okay. You've five, five, five. <laughs> That's all right. Five, five, five. Bye, bye, bye. Right. Now, you could do that influence twice if you had to. Well, whatever you want to do. If you think you can control some of this deforestation, you, you said you wanted to play a card? I did. To, so here's what I was going to do. Play a card. Play this. So that's, okay. So that means you have to remove an influence token. Is there a particular... I don't really care for Is there one that, that you don't... In Indonesia one. That's super RNG. Dice total... Yeah, so, yeah, you have to get a 10 or higher with your dice roll, uh, including influence there. So, mm -hmm. we could remove a token from Indonesia, or an influence to token. To get rid of the destruction. These two here, yeah. right, and we can continue rolling along this row. I think I might do that, actually. Okay, so you went there, you're going to remove this Indonesia influence. Yes. And do this, get rid of these two. Yes. Um, and they have to be adjacent to each other? Yes, Okay. did. Okay. Um, and then, I think... What are you going to do next turn? Well, I have no money. I would like to get money, but if you need money, go for it. Um, I think I'm going to just re it's reveal the last one. The last one. Okay. Just to see what it is. China. Um, <laughs> get an influence there. Check the board. Animals in play plus influence uh, here. Ten. We've got ten. Eleven. Yeah. yeah. So we are good with China. We've got we've got a we've got a definite yes vote. Come round eight, assuming we can keep the tigers on the board. And China and USA are kind of definite, right? Uh, yeah. So as long as we, as, I think if we work to keep these down yeah. and these up, that will USA and China will be done. Yep. Then we can worry about earning money for Mexico mm -hmm. and maybe get more cards. Uh, Nigeria may be an easy end because of that four influence there. Yeah, could be. So, so now you're in offspring. Yep. So you've got one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Plus one is four. So we need a four or lower. It's a five. Oh. Unfortunately, no uh, tigers come out there. That's okay. Next is destruction. Uh, pick a row. I would suggest... Six. Yeah. And then you get to roll that, and then whatever... Six. So it oh. goes here. Okay. And now we are on impact. Hopefully... Uh, instant impact. This triggers a variety of persistent impacts. So this triggers this. Okay. When a tiger sighting card enters play, lose one animal adjacent. So we lose this animal here. Okay. Dang. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, this tiger sighting goes away. This remain. This fragmentation card remains in play. Okay. We can always sprawl out again if we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, so now upkeep, and we move to round six. Mm -hmm. So you get to draw a card. <gasps> uh, what is that? Pick? As Same as one. yeah. A lot of these cards are. I'm noticing that. Yeah. The cards with the gold text on the top are unique to that particular oh, fan or that, that person. Interesting. Um, anyway, we'll take the brown ones back for me. Roll those. Uh, five, four, and four. I want to get these destruction tiles off. I want. I think I'll do the four, two million up here okay. for sure. That gives me some options. Um, I can pay. I can pay a million to none remove the, another destruction tile. None of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is not adjacent to Right. Me. I think keeping up with the destruction tiles is going to be key. I'm going to pay a million to keep up with that. And which one do you prefer I remove? Maybe if, I, if I'm if i able to sprawl, if we're able to sprawl out this way, I can put something here. I'll remove this yeah, one. That way, if we sprawl out offspring here, roll for that row. I think that's the best play. Yeah. And then lastly, this five... Um, I either want to create more offspring or I want to do something special with my stuffs. Um, pay one million and draw No. Pay three million and I don't have the money. Um, I can add more influence. I kind of want to wait until I have three million to do that. Add one animal to... Uh, well, I'll do, I'll do this. 
with the five. I'll, I'll leave the space open for you because that just says add one animal to an empty adjacent space, right? Yeah. Um, I was gonna say. I could if you used that one for that one. I can move animals two spaces. Okay. But so I could, unless I just use that five up here to add. Well, oh, actually, no. I still have a million left. I'm gonna control this card here. I think. I'm going to pay my uh, one last one million to control this oh. fragmentation. So my job as the lawyer is to earn money and to get rid of tiles if possible and these nasty impact cards. Okay. Your, I guess your job is to move these guys around and, <laughs> and mate. Keep, keep them mating. All right. Okay. So I think we're done with that. Um, so these are, these are good. Uh, next we go into offspring. One, two, three, four. Uh, three plus one is four. It's a four, so we get to add one. I'm going to put that right down there and move this one up this way. Mm -hmm. That way, I'm going to pick for destruction phase row five, and hopefully just roll anything but a five. It's a five! Yes! Yay! Good, good job! Mm -hmm. Go me! Okay, now I still have that one ability. I'm, I'm entering the impact phase. I can move a tile. Um, if you had money left over... I could have increased a pip if I... It's too money, though, to increase or decrease mm -hmm. a pip. I, w I don't know if that's worth it. Mm. I'm going to move this down here just to keep the destruction tiles away from the center of the board if I can. Um, and then that was with this. Now the impact phase. This is persistent. When a tiger sighting card enters play, roll one more time for destruction. Okay. Or deforestation. When a, when a what? A tiger enters play? Tiger sighting. Oh, sighting. Remember those sighting. cards yeah, yeah, coming yeah. up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, basically, there's there's the tiger sighting cards in the deck. Mm -hmm. Every time they are drawn, they trigger whatever's here. Okay. That's their that's their purpose. Um, so I get to draw a card in my upkeep. Mm -hmm. I've got fees. The environmental lawyer gains one million for each active persistent impact, wow. <laughs> up to three. So if I let three build up oh, here, heck no. I can, we can use this action to get three million dollars. I was saying discard that. <laughs> yeah, probably. But don't we need cards though for Canada? Play. Player cards, oh, it's in play. Yeah, Not in like hand. these, right? Yeah, I'd have to play, yeah, okay. We have a decent number. What's your turn? Okay, we have 10 so far in play. That's not bad. And all we need is 14. Yeah. We've got the, in, well, is that? 11 influence. It, okay, so. so if we put three more influence there, we, we can lock in Canada, mm -hmm. which I can do with this action here. Yeah. Or we can just Assume, play more cards. Assuming you have the 3 million. Which I will get at some point, oh, yeah. if I have to. If I have to, I'll go here to get one, here to get two. You could play your card, too, to earn me a million, too. I could, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of options. Here's some options. All right, so I will focus on mating this time. Like right. spreading. If you can. Yeah, if we can get mating and six, four, 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 six. Four. Okay, so I have a small idea. I think what I'll do is use a four to add an, add an animal. Actually... Add an animal. That's a good idea. An animal to an empty space adjacent to a mating pair. So it could be here. Um, I think I might actually here. do that. Put it in between. Right here. Yes. And then I'll use the six. Um, to move one animal two spaces. Okay. I'm gonna move the one on the left. This one. Yeah. Bottom. Nope. Bottom and then right. Right here. Okay. Yes. And then I'm going to use the four to discard. Keep in mind. Yeah. Okay. So whenever we roll, you're going to choose row two yes. then? Okay. Yes. That's cool. I'm going to discard this card to move this up here and this up here. Nice. So we've got five mating pairs. So it's an, it's, a, it's an automatic offspring. Mm -hmm. Five plus one is six. Yeah. So we're in the, you spin all your dice, offspring phase, um, again, one, two, three, four, yeah. five plus one is six. So you get to so put one down. I'll just put one here okay and you have to move here. yep you got it and that way it gives us some destruction options <laughs> sounds good uh destruction which row or column would you like to try and uh... i could have dang i could have done that That's although a... as long as we i think i yeah i can always go there too yeah I, I, w I would say if we control the destruction tiles we don't need the usa influence right on it um okay so Offspring destruction phase. I have to roll for it. Yeah, which row or column would you like to, to try and shoot for? Um, I think I'm going to go for five, row five. So we're right here? Yeah. Okay. So nothing but a three. No threes. Yeah, no threes. No threes. Four. Four. Okay. So right here. Okay. 
Okay. And then impact. Impact. Uh, any one player may pay three million to discard one active persistent. I don't have the yeah, money, so but nothing help. Okay. Nothing happens. And then upkeep. Yep. And now we're on Ooh. round seven. Ooh, that's a good one. Gain two million. That's what I have up there already. Yeah. So you could potentially gain four million with two dice. I guess, and then use three million to add influence to yeah. whatever I want. Like just, just. Chain it. Like, but I think, though, I think we still need to focus on yes. keeping this clean. But if you did do the ambassadors, I can keep doing this and sacrificing an influence to, to remove We want to be careful about sacrificing influence if we're going to be True. using money to add influence. And, all right, well, let's, just see, let's just see what we get. Uh, one, five, and four. The one, let's, I'll pick a blank spot that... Uh, two million? Or... Yeah, the two million would work. I mean, that's a no-brainer there. That way, you, you've got a good chance of getting that on your next turn. The four and the five... Um, the four lets me... I could go here and pay a million to remove a destruction tile. Um, Non-adjacent. So what I'll do is I'll pay a million to remove this one. I would, I would say on row two. On row two? All right. Oh, actually, no. I was going to move this down with my ability. That way, I can roll on row five... And it's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, or or it, do we want to move this one out here? Away from this... No, I, I say I say remove it on column two. Maybe. That way... This one here? No, column, column this one. Column two, And okay. then maybe move that down. That right. way you have both options. All right, so I'll use that to... Okay, that's fine. And I paid my million to do that. And I've got my uh, five left. With my five, I wouldn't mind adding influence if I, I've got one million left. I, I, I think I'm going to, again, keep control of this. So I'm going to pay a million dollars to remove the clear cutting card. Okay. Uh, now we're in the offspring. offspring. So we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, so I just plus need a, one. Plus is one five. is five. So I just need a five or less, and it's a six. Ish. I'm good at that. What can I say? Uh, next, we're on the destruction. I'm going to choose row five and two. So it goes here. Scary. Yeah, a little bit. Impact phase. Uh, instant. This triggers a variety of... Okay, this is a tiger sighting. This would affect... That would activate anything here. There's nothing, but we have to draw a new one. Okay. Uh, instant impact. Find both clear-cutting cards and put them into play if they aren't already. Check the discard pile first. So clear cutting. Oh boy. That doesn't sound good. So clear cutting and. <laughs> it must. Oh, here's the other one. So it told you to look for both of those. Yes, cards? it did, and I have to discard this. So now we've got these, and both of them say when a tiger sighting card enters play roll for one more deforestation. So we need to get rid of these quickly. Mm, okay. So we do not want another tiger yeah. impact coming out. Okay. So I think we need damage control on that. There's so many cards. I know. Upkeep. Um, adopt an animal, which is, I think, what you started off with. Yeah. But again, with the cards, I'm trying to get cannon up there if I can. Mm -hmm. oh, again, I, I'd have to play these, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not in your hand, babe. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So now it's your turn. Okay. One, one two, two, three. <laughs> so unfortunately, none of my spaces really, except I'll, for I'll play one card here, so to play the so we can get more money if we need to. Okay. Um, can you do anything to negate clear cutting? I don't think so. I can. Not with the five there. I hold on. I can not. <laughs> what about this one? Remove one influence, then remove two destructions. We could. If we if we did that, that would offset. We can remove. Well, how come you put an influence on USA? Because I spent influence to reveal it. Yeah, but that was back then. That, then we used an. No, whenever you reveal a card, you keep the influence token. I, I know, but then we removed it with this last time. We used the Indone We removed Indonesia's because you didn't like that. Oh, I thought we removed USA. Okay. If we did, we well, were, I missed it if you told me to. I'll, I'll remove USA. So. I would say remove Canada. Are we going to have 14 cards out here by the end of the game, do you think? Probably not. Well, how many cards do we have? We have 11 right now. That's three more cards. Okay, well, if you want to remove USA, fine. 
What about, what about animals in play? We've got 1, 2, 3, yeah, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So we still have our goal. So yeah. as long as we don't keep that's losing fine. tigers, we can get rid of China's that's influence. Fine. But that, that's why I was thinking about USA's too, because I think we have... Yeah, but what yeah. worries me is this, and then a whole bunch of these come out and oh, we okay. lose it. All right, so yeah, China's fine. Uh, so we remove two of those. Right, this keeps this, this stack nice mm -hmm. and healthy. Yeah, and then the third one... I'll do, um, let me see, one, two, three, four. I could. Hmm. Um, okay. Ouch. I kind of want to. I have no money. <laughs> Can you do a two million? Or is there something? I could, I could do a two million, but. Is, what would you do with the money? I wanted to draw a card and play... Well, no, because... That would allow you to get more for Canada's goal. Yeah. Or you can nice. add more influence to a card that you think we would need it, like Nigeria, to offset more RNG. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four. I think we have enough Tigers, I think. Unless you want me to keep going with the Tigers. That's four mating pairs. There's a one in six chance to roll a non... Yeah. Mate. So I, I think you're good. Okay. So I think I am going to do two million. All right. Because I want to try to work on that Canada. All right. There you go. And now we move on to offspring. So here's the die. You just need a... Don't roll a six like I did. <laughs> one. There you go. So you get to place <laughs> one of these. Okay. So um, I guess I'll do this one. Okay. Makes sense. Destruction. Uh, pick a... I'll pick, uh, column two. Top, all right, column two here? Yeah. Okay, and you get a die. Actually, no, row five. Row, row five, five. Yeah. okay. It is a four, four, so that would go here. Okay. And... And now, impact. Impact, yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, poachers, lose a number of animals equal to the current year, but no more than three. Okay, so, so three. you lose three animals. Okay. Uh, any animals? Any. Okay. I would say the. I would say maybe. What do you think? I would say the one on on column two. This one. Yeah. Would that eliminate this this here? Unless we make yeah. move it. Well, I was thinking the one on column two and the one on column. This one. Yeah. Okay. And the and one on column six. All right. Probably. All right. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We still have the ten yeah. that we need for China. Next turn. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to I'll, mate. I'll mate more. If we can. Yeah. We still have a... Uh, it's, it's, this is still a four for mating. Three yeah. mating pairs yeah. plus one. Is, it's still a good chance. Mm -hmm. All right, so now... That impa was impact. Yeah. No, keep... Now we're on the, the second to last round. And from here, after... After I go and after you go, we're going to check for end game thing. Okay. If we fail it, we go to a nine and try one more time. Yeah. Okay. Actions, I get my dice back. Uh, let's see. We got one, three, and four. Not great, but um, I want to get money so that I can continue removing. I want to get rid of these. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I need money. So I'm going to come here, get the two, two cash. I think I'm just repeating myself at this point. I know. You like I'm going to pay one million to get rid of one of these tiles or one of these cards. Are they both the same? They're both the same. Ugh. Um, but it's one less that would come yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then with my four... Um, I would say probably play a card. Uh, eight, nine, ten. I could play a card from my hand. Do you need money? I, I can. Each player gains have, one million. But this is an instant effect. I would want to play one that would count toward Canada, right? So yeah. I want it to be an action card, or... Um, if you gave me that money with that instant effect, next turn I could just place three on Canada. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. But do you really want to do that? That would be... We would only need these ten cards in order to fulfill that goal. Well, how many do we have right... We've got, we, we've got eight, right? We have eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Plus the one is twelve. Twelve. So we need two. We need to play need two, two more, more cards. cards. What if I put down? What if I play impact assessment? For a continuous. Yeah, and that that counts toward. That's just we would need one more, right? 
Or do you want one of these other ones? There's fees. That one. one million for each active per That's just <laughs> basically a one million space. We'd have to let these build up, which I don't like. No. This protest is the same as that other one where mm -hmm. remove an influence, but at this point, I don't think that's smart. No. Um, I could play a four, play this, impact the set. That way, if a card does come up and it's a tiger sighting, um, but I have to discard this. That's the problem. Like, I don't like this impact assessment because it's a one-time thing. I guess put it down anyways. For and just continuous. leave it. And, yeah. And, uh, and if worst comes to worst, if there's like a horrible, horrible impact, you can, you know, you can do that. Next turn, I'm probably going to go here and pay a million then to draw a card and play one. Okay. Because we need two more cards. All right. So I guess then play, play this to put toward Canada. Right, and this is just a permanent effect, and I will not use it when the time comes. Okay. Um, I just it'll count toward our our Canada total, and I also have the opportunity to move stuff. Uh, um, let's how about I move this one? You want to move this one down here? Yeah. And then if we have to, we can use that one ability to get rid of two of them because they're adjacent yeah. to each other. Yeah. Uh, but I'm out of dice. Although removing one influence to do that is kind of not risky. Yeah, I get you. All right. Well. Uh, offspring? Although USA, if we use that one for USA. We've got, at the moment, mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh. So, well, we, we're if, barely... If, yeah, yeah, but if we still use it... One's coming out, though, now. Mm -hmm. So we're actually under. Yeah, but I'm saying if we just use that one for USA, we would take two back. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. All right, so what was I doing? Offspring, one, two, three. So it's a four. Mm -hmm. Three. All right, so I get to add a tiger somewhere. So let's add that sucker. I can't do it there because there's no surrounding. I have to put it maybe here, and I'll split these up that way. Mm. And then this, this row will be fine for deforestation. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we move on to destruction. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pick row four. Four. It's <laughs> oh. like the fourth time in a row you I, killed the tiger. I know. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, if I had two million, I could adjust it, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, next is impact, which is a tiger sighting, which means this kicks in. Oof. So now I have to roll another destruction. I'm gonna pick row five. Okay. Six. Ooh, so it's over scary. here. But now I think we've got too many of these tiles out now, and we're not, mm -hmm. we don't have USA anymore. It's okay. I'm going to use the influence probably to take at least two of them back. Okay. So that ends me. I get an upkeep, right? And then my turn is over. Okay. So I will roll. Three I got a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Discard both this volunteer and one active persistent effect. And I have to shuffle these again. Okay. So six, five, and two. All right. Um, what I can do is hmm. all right. I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take off USA's influence to put to destroy two of those tiles. Adjacent to each other, and I'm going to destroy these two. Okay, so remind. So you removed an influence from who? USA. From USA. Yes. All right, and you're going to then remove these two. Yes. Or these two. No, these two. Okay. And then for this one, I'm going to. How many tiles do we have now? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. So we do not meet USA's goal unless you put influence back on USA. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But what sucks is that... Do, how much... What do we need for Canada? Can you put influence on both USA and Canada? And Canada would be... Uh, we've got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If you put an influence on Canada, that's 14. If you put an influence on USA... Here's the thing. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One is going to come out on your turn, and we're going to be down to eight. You see what I'm saying? Eight, eight tiles. Yes, we're going to have eight here because your destruction phase hasn't yeah. hit yet. So we're not going to get USA this turn, not without adding a bunch of influence to it. 
Unless you get... I could get one more. I could get... I could add influence to USA. With but three I'm, million? Yeah, but yeah, I would have to get one million from here. Or two million from here, rather. Well, you've got influence and influence, right? Can you do... I could do one of each. Like Canada and... Well, if we, I, I think adding one to Canada is smart. This is a guaranteed in. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a guaranteed in. The, and Indonesia, the Canada, the in Canada, Nigeria is... Hold on. The Canada is not a guaranteed. It's We have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, right. So if you add an influence to Canada, that's fourteen. That makes it a, a permanent in. If you add one influence to Canada, okay, fine. that makes it a permanent yes. Yeah, I'll do that. But I'm just wondering about USA now. Well, hmm. <laughs> That's. You'd have to remove more of these tiles, which I don't think we can do, can we? Do you have anything? I could pay one million to remove a destruction tile that is not next to an animal. That would give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. But then during the destruction phase, one will come back out. So we'd still be down by one because we use that yeah. influence there. I would have pulled it from Nigeria, but Nigeria really. Rather than pull, rather when you took two away, uh, I would have pulled. Would it wreck on it? Eh, whatever. <laughs> we care. we can work on it. It's fine. <laughs> Homebrew. Homebrew. Well, no, no, it's not fair. All right, all right, fine. We've still got round nine if we need to. We can add more influence to USA and just beat it then. I could just add an influence to USA. That is fine. Okay. That way, on round nine, there's a better chance. I guess. My only concern is this. Here, do you have um, a way to remove this? Not now. I just used all my dice. Okay, that's fine. All right, so you're on to offspring. There's two plus one is three. Oof. So you need to roll three or lower. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we still have ten. Ten tigers. We just don't. We can't lose any tigers or spawn a new one. Six. six. Nope. Unfortunately, that does not spawn a new tiger. Dang. Destruction phase, pick a row or column that only contains one tiger in it. Rows. Ro uh, column five. Five. Or, you mean row five or column five? Row five. Row five. Yeah, there, it's more separate, yeah. segregated, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So here's your die. Do not roll a three. <laughs> yes! Yes! We did it! Yes! Yes! Go, China. Okay. Well, right. China's pissed at us now. Thank okay. You. We'll, we'll get it next year. We'll get you Yes. Next year. All right. So now uh, move on. If all players discard a card from their hand, you may reveal a face-down ambassador. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, at least it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Know? All right. Fine. I would have totally discarded those. I had. Yeah. Anyway. So now we're on your upkeep phase. So draw a card. Okay. That's fine. Now we try and do this. I don't think it's possible. Um, so let's check them one at a time. Mexico, total money. We clearly don't have that. No. Uh, we need 12. And I'm, I've got mm -hmm. one, you've got two. There's no influence here. Mm -hmm. Canada, we've got two influence and 12 cards between us, right? One, yep. two, and then 10 over there is 12. Mm -hmm. Plus the two. So Canada is a yes vote. Okay. That's one. Mm -hmm. USA um, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. We need 10. So USA is still a no vote. Indonesia is just roll two dice, and whatever the total is, eight. eight. It's not a ten or higher, so Indonesia is a no-go. Um, Nigeria, roll two dice. The greater result yep. is six, plus the four is ten. We, Nigeria gives us a yes vote. China gives us the no vote. Okay. We have, so we have two yes votes this round, yeah. out of all of that. Yeah. So now we're, we're on to it. round nine. <laughs> And it's down to the wire to, yeah. So we I need at least another animal, that's for sure. I would say add an animal. <laughs> yeah, we need to add animals and um, I need to get the deforestation piles under control. Mm. I think spending all of my money to just to get it out and... Uh, that might be a good idea, actually. Just to get as much influence on... Like, Canada is good. Mm -hmm. USA, I, I want to get rid of these if possible. Mm -hmm. Do we want to remove one from Nigeria? What you could oh, to remove two from here to ensure USA's. Um, 
I think that's a good idea. We could remove these two. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna say if you gain two million, add three million for the ambassador, and then take away one to remove two. But that's a lot of chaining. Well, let's do this. Four. Remove an influence from Nigeria. Right. I'm still confident we can roll. That would be a four, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We'd have to roll a four on one of them. <sighs> sure. Okay, so we remove two tiles. This ensures that USA yes. is kosher with us. So mm -hmm. That's one. Um, you said I could do add one animal to an, an, any agent. Okay, so I'll put my one there. Right? And add an animal to an empty adjacent space. Okay. Okay? And actually, I'll, show, I'll probably put it here so that we can yeah. do a clean row. That's a better idea. And then we've got this two. What goals are we trying to work toward? I've got $1 million to spend. What would I want to spend that on? I can play a card from my hand to give you a million. And that three million could be used for influence if you needed it. Mm -hmm. um, or I can play this two to... to um, mm -mm. Discard a card from your hand to move up to two animals up to two... So maybe... I've got all these cards. Mm -hmm. So I'll discard one of these. It doesn't matter. Uh, this adopt an animal. Mm -hmm. I'll discard it. And I'll move animals around to increase our offspring chances for, for China's. Mm -hmm. So I can move two animals up to two times each? Up to two spaces each. Yes. Okay, so maybe one, two, and then one. Mm -hmm. And then we'll row... F yeah, so now we've got four mating pairs. That's great. Okay. So that's not a bad turn. And then we move on to offspring. One, two, three, four, five. I just need a five or less. Three. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so now another offspring. We'll put that up here, I guess, and move that back off to the side. Nice. And now the destruction phase, I'll choose row four, and that is a two, which goes there. I also, now impact, I can move something. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, maybe move this away from, not maybe down. Down. This. Yeah. That way we've got, you've got leeway here for your next turn. Mm -hmm. And now I have to uh, draw this. Uh, instant impact. Any one player may pay three million to discard one active persistent impact. I don't have that. I don't either. So between the two of us, we do, but we, <laughs> we can't do that. Um, so now upkeep, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm essentially uh, done with the game now, but yeah. you've got one turn. Okay. So my advice is uh, let's, let's keep these low. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to get more of these gone. Maybe another one. If you, have, if you can roll a six, <laughs> that'd be awesome there. Of the USA tiles, you mean? Which oh, yeah, you can add influence, too. I forgot about that. One, two, five. Okay. Um. So, as of right now, you're going to be drawing one, right, at least, from yeah. destruction. That's going to get our stack down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One would be... Uh, one would be eight left in this stack, and we would not have enough. So, I what if I just added an influence to it? You could, if you want to add one influence to or, it. Or, yeah, I would say add an influence to it. All right, makes sense. It gives us a better option. You could also go to the other spot and add another influence. Uh, if this card kicks in, two of these are gone instead of one. Well, I could just... We've got one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, nine. So there's there's nine tiles here. When one of these come up, that's going to be eight plus two is yeah. ten. So as long as this does not kick mm -hmm. in, it'll be fine. So do you want to gamble? If this next card... I could just remove it. If you want to... Yeah, all right. If you want to pay a one million and remove it. To remove it. That works for me. All right. And then the five, I'll just add an influence to Nigeria. And increase our chances with that. Yeah. Okay. So we should have four yeses. Destruction phase? Yeah. Uh, so pick a row. Uh, row four. Row four. So go ahead and roll. Or actually, offspring first, right? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Ooh. Okay. Four. One. One. All right. So we add a tiger. Where would you like that? Um. I'll add it. Hold on. Yeah, on 2-2. Two, two. All right, that means you'd have to move this yes. over here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then row 4. Uh, you're going to roll for destruction on 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> Six. Oh, I know. Nice. Yeah. That's not bad at all. The right. I said left. <laughs> it's fine. So we've got one, two, three, four, eight. Plus two is... Okay, we're good. <laughs> Woo! All right. Uh, you must have counted that at least a dozen times. Yeah, my brain does not remember anything anymore. Upkeep phase? Oh, impact. Mm-hmm. Uh, when a tiger sighting card enters play, lose one animal adjacent to a deforestation tile. But that's only when... That doesn't matter because yeah, this is... Yeah, So now we're done. You get to draw a card, which doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to count our yes votes. Mexico, do we have the money? No. no. Canada, do we have 14 cards in play, including influence? Yes. Yes. That's a yes vote. USA, we've got eight destruction mm-hmm. tiles plus two influence. That's another yes vote. Mm-hmm. Indonesia, would you do the honors and roll two dice for me? Oh, boy. Five. Nice. Unfortunately, no. You get ten or better. Nigeria, do the honors. Oh, no. No, I already did the last This is it. This is it. If we if we don't get this, then game over. Do we roll one dice or two? Two oh, dice, you two. take the greater result. So if they're both... Six. They're six and five. All right, so six plus four is ten. That's a yes vote. Animals in play, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got four yes votes. End of round nine, we win. We oh, saved. it's down the wire. Yeah. No, but technically we beat the easy mode as well. Easy mode was three ambassadors as opposed to four. Jeez. So what did you think of this? Did you enjoy it? Was it too difficult, too easy? I love this game. You love it? The only thing... I was, the cards were a little lackluster. I don't like repeat cards. I, I don't. You mean because my, my cards were the same as yours? Yeah. Some of them anyway? Yeah. I, I mean, I'd prefer... That's for balance purposes, I think. I'm sure. But I would have played with, like, two decks. You Could know? you imagine <laughs> if you picked a character and none of them had... It, it didn't have the add and influence? Like, that would break yeah. the game. So you have to have some repeat cards in order to get things done. Yeah. I would have... Yeah. Anything true. with the special yellow tech, the heading, mm-hmm. is unique to that character. So yeah. here's this fees card. Uh, it's kind of dark, unfortunately. But yeah, this fees is yellow. So that's unique to the lawyer. I don't like the whole impact deck. I don't like the cards that had effects on the impact deck. Because I feel... Well, I guess there's something to be said. Um, that It said that there were Roman numerals on those cards to determine how many of those in there the are. impact deck. Mm-hmm. I guess if you were good at counting cards. Yeah, like I can see why they would have these effects. But I- I'm not good at counting cards, so I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, you probably wanted to see the other characters. Yes. I just chose brown because blue... The blue was a TV wildlife host, and I didn't really want to be a TV. Oh. So it's double-sided. One's the male side, and mm-hmm. one's the female side. So That's you can... Cool. It, either way, you just pick what you want. There's also the philanthropist, mm-hmm. so you can choose that character. And there's also the lobbyist, so... Uh, there's three different characters that we did not use here, if you want to look at yeah. it. And then the three different decks for those particular people are located here. These They, again, have their own individual decks. Other side, just to give you a quick... Again, this may be a little blurry for you guys, but hopefully you'll be able to see some of it. I'm surprised you didn't want to be the TV wildlife host Dad's Gaming Addiction. <laughs> mm, see, but when I was reading the rules, I'm like, I'm going to need money. And I saw the lawyer, I'm like, you know what? The lawyer can get money, <laughs> so I'm doing that. Can he? Yeah. Oh, um, the, uh, by the way, the... Sea otters have their own impact deck. Yeah. We those we use the impact deck for the tigers. That's this is cool. the impact deck for the otters. So these are some of the things that we did not use in the game. Uh, on the reverse side, there's like oil spills and other things that you have to contend with. But it's crazy that the only card to get rid of those persistent impacts was only this one. Mm-hmm. That's your lawsuit one. If you didn't have your um, your, yeah, your well, I had, I had a volunteer that was a one-off. Yeah, I had that one, too. Yeah. But there wasn't very many uh, abilities to get rid of. Yeah, I did have a, I had one card left in my deck, to be honest, and that was not a... Get, yeah, unless there's another, unless there's another c- class mm-hmm. that is focused on that, but I don't... Uh, I, I can easily imagine this snowballing out of control, like, so fast. Yeah, if you let the destruction piles chain, like, I think of it as, I, I remember Firepoint, uh, was it uh, Fire Rescue? Uh, Flashpoint Fire Rescue. Okay. It was one of the first fire, one of the first co-op games I played outside of Pandemic. Mm-hmm. That's where you add fire, your firefighters, you're going in the burning house and you're trying to rescue people, mm-hmm. and that fire can daisy chain and blow right. things up. Yeah. yeah, that's what I feel like is possible here, Definitely. without the explosions, mind you. Mm-hmm. But you, you like this, you would play it again. I would, I, I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, also, I, I don't remember if you said it, but 
if if um if one of these destruction tiles bounces, it has to bounce to the nearest tiger. Right? Nearest tiger, correct. On on the row that you picked. So it yeah. can't bounce onto a column if you picked a row and vice versa. Yeah. And it also has to go toward the nearest tiger. Right. Yeah. Which is why, you know, it bounced this way when that tiger was here and so on. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, if for those of you casual folks that are watching and are like, this might be too difficult, my advice to make the game easier, maybe eliminate, like, if you're playing a two-player game, remove the impact phase from one of the players. Or maybe the destruction phase and the impact phase from one of the players. Mm-hmm. That might be cheating. That might break it. But if you're looking for an easier time, maybe like one player does everything. And then the next player does everything except destroy and uh, uh, impact. Mm-hmm. That way you're drawing less of these and less of these. Mm-hmm. That might be an easy mode for you. Also, maybe go for two cards instead of three. Uh, mm-hmm. They recommend four is normal. Three is easy. If you want a super casual experience, maybe shoot for two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, also, there is a third animal not included in the game. I don't know where to find it, but I think it was the panda expansion. Cool. So, yeah, that's a, that's a third thing they're playing around with, if it's not out already. So the, I like the one player, the solo. It says to set it up as a two-player game and just play both roles. To... That's typical of yeah. most solo games. I now. think if I were to play this solo, i just take everyone out and play them all. All five. All five. <laughs> You'd have three rounds, or four rounds, rather, to nope. get everything done. I'll have 20, 20 years. <laughs> wow, okay. That's my home Take as long as you want, okay. <laughs> just, okay, whatever. It's your game. You do what you want. Sure. It's not, it's not cheating at all. I know. Cheat code. <laughs> no, just add 20. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, PA start. <laughs> there you go. You win. <laughs> all right, Endangered. There you go. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.